Love it. Swing. You ready? Let's do it. Hey guys, I got a brand new video for you today and it's something special. We're building a beastly video editing system. This is my buddy Ben. He's a filmmaker and he shoots a lot of stuff on red and he's, you know, just getting getting sick of working with the iMac, not having enough power. And he came to me about like, I don't know, a couple months ago and he's like, yo, what do you think about the new Mac Pro? It's not new. It's, it's like three years old. And I said, don't do it. It's a waste of money because we can build this for like half the price. Initially, I started talking to you because you were running a Hackintosh yeah. at some point. I really want the power that comes with the custom built PC, but I love the OS X. Yeah. Um, you know, ecosystem workflow. too much. Yeah, workflow. So I was thinking about going Hackintosh for a while, but I heard horror stories about updating it. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm yes. not a computer, I'm not like a big computer techie guy, so I wouldn't be able to do it by myself. I'd probably have to have you over at my house all the time fixing it. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I started talking to Lee about, um, you know, a custom build, because um, I was interested in the Mac Pro, but he definitely, he said don't do it. For way less money, we get all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking way less money. We get all this stuff for more power. Am I right? Basically. Yeah. The, I mean, the top end, top, top end Mac Pro, the 12 core Xeon, whatever, is probably going to be similar to this, but you're spending 12 grand. And I think the one thing. And this video card's better. Currently, I add, I add it on uh, an iMac 2013, late fall, I believe. I mean, you pointed out there's only. There, there will only ever be quad core in, in IMAX, IMAX for a while. For a yeah, while, yeah, until yeah. the technology shrinks even further, right? Yeah. I definitely wanted something six to eight, maybe ten core, but you talked me off the ledge with the ten core. Well, it's overkill. I, I don't know if it's really necessary, but hey, I mean, if you had the money for so it, so why don't you just you done lay it. it out? What do we got here? So the heart of the system is the 6900K, eight core, 16 thread CPU. Smallest box, most expensive purchase. Yes. It's definitely the, the heart of the system. And then obviously the GTX 1080 for the win. And we're throwing it on the X99 Deluxe 2 because it has Thunderbolt, comes with Thunderbolt, uh, USB Type-C, and it's pretty much one of the best, you know, for a value motherboard as far as like what you get. And it has everything you want it to, like Wi-Fi, blah, 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 right? Cooler H110i, 750X power supply. We're gonna do RAID. Uh, zero with these two one terabyte e uh, 850 evos so these are going to be his editing drives you've been told not to do this but that's how i work off my system i just wouldn't store anything super valuable on that so that's why you went for the iron wolf yeah the 10 terabyte i bought it strictly at, off the name alone marketing marketing at its peak so we got the 10 terabyte iron wolf for backups kind of storage and then an eight, eight terabyte for the main storage so this is going to be kind of like a backup system and then we've got the uh, m.2 950 pro for the operating system and all the programs i have this in my system i don't know if you've seen my build but uh this thing's really fast and then 64 gigs <laughs> yeah 64 gigs ddr4 2400 megahertz overkill i don't know no nah, we can put we can probably do 128 in this bad boy <laughs> i think like the, for the most part though i added i i mean i direct music videos and I edit a lot of music videos and even my corporate commercial work you know I'm shooting more and more red footage or 4k on like the Sony mm -hmm. cameras so I, I just I hate when I'm editing and I'm motivated to do an edit and I load in all the footage and red footage is, is obviously you know five six K yeah. um, and I can only play it on my iMac for like three seconds before it starts to lag and it kind of just kills the buzz of editing yeah. And it makes it more like a chore than like something that I used to love to do. So you'll I'm love, hoping that... You'll love it. Yeah, I'm hoping that with like the, the, the right system with enough power, I'll never be, I mean, as cheesy as it sounds, my creativity will never be throttled by, um, you know, the lack of power. Yep. Anyway, let's stop talking and let's, let's just build this bad boy. I'm probably not going to do like a step-by-step -step guide. We'll just, we'll just fire through it and then maybe... Did you bring some red footage? I did. So we'll fire up some red footage on it after this and see how well it runs it in the timeline and Premiere. So let's get started.
I take no responsibilities if they catch us fire. I hope you got a good insurance policy. All right, guys, it was a long time. What time do we start at? I don't know, 8? 8. 8, 8 p.m. It's now 3.30 a.m. We got this bad boy going. I'm really meticulous when it comes to wiring, and I didn't really go too crazy on it, but it looks pretty good. We're just exporting some, stoked. some red stoked. footage right now. Uh, a two-minute 5K clip is exporting basically at real time, so it's like two minutes and 30 seconds or something like that. So the eight-core CPU doing its job. Uh, we actually got it to start first try. Which, you know, I'm starting to get pretty Thank good at God. wiring. Thank <laughs> uh, Yeah, what do you think? I don't know. Just from the, we, we, we did some very basic tests with some red footage here. Um, I'm going to do more tests when I get home, but everything is moving a lot faster than my iMac that I currently have at home. A lot faster. Yeah, done. Done. So later on, I got Ben to actually load in a bunch of red raw files and stack them on top of each other just to see how well it plays it back in the timeline because this is actually really strenuous on a computer. Obviously, he's running this at a quarter quality, but this is all you really need when you're playing around with 5K red files. And it's playing it back really smooth with no drop frames. Also keep in mind, he is also doing a screen capture recording at the same time, so that also uses a bit more power. So here he started to add some curves and some color to some of the clips. And it's still playing back really well. Next he starts adding some opacity so that there's more transparency between all the clips. And most computers would really struggle with this. Um, this is really tough and this is actually something you probably not do too much in editing. But as you can tell it's playing it back pretty smooth without drop frames. So this test is pretty impressive and this computer can actually do quite a bit. Yeah so voila! That's basically it. If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video give it a thumbs down twice and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Let's go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Not together. <laughs>